family this is the mobile home diva and i am out at five star manufactured homes touring cab co Ma uh, manufactured homes the name of the company is cab co i don't know the name of this one yet because i haven't walked in i wanted to get a picture of the outside this is the second home that i've viewed here that has the built-in front porch super super nice feature I love how it looks. It has lighting. You could totally put um, a ceiling fan up there if you like. Really nice. Really, really nice. So it's a wasp flying around my head. So let's go in and see what the home looks like. Love the front door. Very nice. Okay. Oh, it's kind of cold in here. Awesome. Look at this beautiful home, you guys. So when you walk in, I'll turn around, spin around and let you look. You got just a little, what you could consider a foyer area. It's got beams in the ceiling. That's optional. You don't have to get the beams. But this house has a rustic feel and I think it looks really nice. You've got those two windows on either side of the front door. Love the brick column that separates the room. We'll look over at the kitchen in a minute. Let me spin around and let you take a look into the living room. Really, 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 really pretty. You got three large windows. Look at the brickwork and the built-in shelving around the fireplace. How beautiful is that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love the step up to the fireplace can put some nice decor in here, you guys. Really beautiful, rustic home. Really nice. So, so, so pretty. Very nice. Ceiling fan in here. It's gonna have wood trim all around. You know, if you guys are not interested in the rustic look, but you like the layout of the home, you could totally Order this home without, you know, make this a plain wall, no brick. Take out all of the rustic feel if you like the layout of the home. It doesn't have to have the wood trim. Think about it from that perspective. Don't just not like it because of that. Because you can absolutely, that's the thing about these manufactured homes. You can or custom order them to whatever you like. This home could have a totally different look when you're done. Just the layout that you like. So this, there's, there's the brick column. This is the lip dining room. Right here, you got the two long windows here. Lots of space in this dining room for a huge table. I love how open it is, but separated because that column kind of divides the room. This home has vents in the ceiling, which is a plus. Really pretty. Over into the kitchen, you've got stainless steel appliances. You've got a brown wood cabinet, kind of really rustic, really pretty. Large window over the industrial sink. I love those faucets. I'm thinking about getting one for our house. Really nice. All right, lots of space. You can put your beverage station, all your appliances. Whatever you like. Look at all of the outlets in this home, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten outlets in this kitchen. More outlets than you'll ever need. And then you have an outlet here on the island along with three cabinets and shelves. Space for two to three bar stools depending on the kind you like, and I love, 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 I always love this refrigerator-freezer combination. Have you ever seen in one? Let's take a look. Beautiful, so you got your refrigerator on one side and your freezer on the other. So, so pretty. Shelves go over there, shelves go over there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now this is your refrigerator side 
and this is your freezer side. You can tell from the shelves. Your freezer will have these and your refrigerator will have those. Beautiful. Give all my ladies some eye candy. <laughs> What's the name of this refrigerator when it's big like this? If somebody knows, put it down in the description box so when I come across them again, I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about, okay? Is it the Sub-Zero refrigerator? Is that right? Anyway, it's beautiful, whatever it is. Look at all the cabinets up top. You even got space for decor up there. Love the uh, stainless steel hood over the stove. It goes well with all of these stainless steel appliances. And look at all the can lights you got in here, y'all. Three, six, nine, 12, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 can lights between the dining room and the kitchen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna see the master bath last. Let's spin around here. We're gonna go down this hall and see what we got down here. So awesome. I see barn doors. Let's see what's behind these barn doors. Oh, look at the utility room, you guys. So you've got barn doors on either side of the utility room. How lovely. You've got all of this space. Now this utility room has a mud room. So pretty. Look how beautiful that mud room is. You've got lots of space for the kids to hang up their coats. Everybody has their own cubby hole. You've got storage space over there. So, so, so pretty. Just perfect. This mud room area is just perfect. It already has everything you need. You also have an island in the middle. You can fold clothes there. You've got uh, counter space and cabinet space over here with a deep sink. You've got a window that you can look out while you're scrubbing those intimate things at the sink. Really pretty. Your back door is there. Washer and dryer will go here. More cabinets up there. And then two large cabinets in the island along with an outlet. How beautiful is that? Now this is the second laundry room that has absolutely floored me. And the barn door that leads to it, to me, is a nice touch. Really pretty. Now across from the laundry room, we'll start taking a look. Guest bedroom number one. Go in and turn around so you can see. Guest bedroom number one, you've got a cute little walk-in closet in there. Guest bedroom number one. Got a barn door there. Really nice. Here's your master. Hope you can see into it. It's dark. You got lots of storage space. Only thing that's missing is a transom window for lighting. Really nice. There's your sink with lots of storage space as well. Huge mirror and your toilet. Now you've got guest bedroom number two. Barn door that leads to it. But all the rooms have barn doors. Barn door that leads to this guest bedroom. There is your uh, closet door. I'm sorry, I was looking at this door trying to figure out where it went. So many doors laying in here and they look different. <laughs> you got two large windows in this room. Another little cute walk-in closet. In here, slightly bigger than the other one. And I'll go out and spin around so you can see. Really nice. So that's guest bedroom number two. And then guest bedroom number three is over here. This looks to be the larger of the guest bedrooms. 
Oh, so that door goes here. Very nice. And this has a bigger walk-in closet. Very pretty. All right, so this house has four bedrooms, two baths. We've seen three guest bedrooms and a bath so far. Now we'll go over here through the kitchen and see the master. So the master is right here off the kitchen. You got your master bedroom right here. Barn doors that lead to the master bath. Really pretty. Really pretty. So that's the master. I'll go over here and give you another spin around. I don't think I did it justice. So that is the master bedroom. Now you've got the barn doors that lead into the master bath. I could also see French doors there, but because the barn doors are throughout the whole house, I think that it would be only fitting to leave it there. As you walk in, you have a huge stand up, standalone tub right here. Beautiful frosted glass. And I love this tub. I saw it in another house. This looks like a foam, doesn't it? But this is actually like a shower head. Really nice. Really nice feature. I think it's so pretty. This would be good. We have a, a subscriber, Joan Bates, her and her husband, Keith. She has arthritis. That would be perfect for her. Not only that, but this shower is beautiful. And Joan, if you were to put a, a bench in here, I think that would work with your arthritis as well. Very nice. Huge, huge, huge walk-in shower. So, so, so pretty. Rain shower, shower head. Love the sink, love the uh, tub. And I know you guys wanna know where the sink is. You've got, actually got two. So on either side of the door, you've got storage space as well as your own sink. There's one and there's two. Same storage space. Now in this bathroom, you have this huge, huge mirror. Love it. So you can see what you look like before you leave the house. Awesome, awesome, awesome. When I left the house, my shirt was tucked in. It's super hot out here, y'all. I'm gonna be naked in a minute. No, just kidding. All right, you got your toilet room here with a large window that opens. Always a nice feature. It also has the barn door there. Love the space in here if you wanna put a bench or a little table or whatever you like in, or a storage unit, shelving unit. It's up to you. Here's your master closet with a nice window. Also a nice feature. You've got two shelves on this side. So happy it's not the wire. Love how they're made because you've got a place to, for like a shelf to sit things on and you've got the rod. So that's really nice. And then on this side, you've got just the one rod for your taller item. So pretty. Love the flooring. Love the wide planks. Love the colors in it. So, so pretty. And then behind the door is your six cube shelving unit. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. Really, really pretty. All right, let's go see how much this house cost. So, so, so pretty. All right, again, this is a cab co. 
model home. This model is the uh, it's Cabco model 3243. It's a 32 by 80. Base price is 142.2. That base price includes delivery, setup materials, setup, blocking, your tie down, central heat and air, concrete block underpinning, concrete footers for your support piers. And then depending on where you're moving, you may have some additional fees. So those are the fees right there. If you're interested in this home, if you have questions about it, or if you want to come see it, it's in Bowden, Georgia, B-O-W-D-E-N, Georgia, um, off of 20 West, like you're going to Birmingham, but it's 99 miles out of Birmingham. All the information will be down in the description box. Sorry, it's hot. All the information will be down in the description box along with the link to their Facebook page, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.